now in spring 2021, we now look at the Perth property market and the WA market in general. Firstly, let's look at the context in which we're operating at the moment. What I can share with you is that demand and supply continue to be in tension. In fact, supply is down over 30% by comparison to long-term averages, whilst demand is 60% up on long-term averages. In fact, year on year, demand is still up 50%. And what this is leading to is a clearance rate which is fast in the marketplace. And as a consequence, there's only about 10 weeks of supply in the current residential market. Prices continue to rise, not necessarily in a uniform way across all markets, but generally the market movement is up on prices. This is challenging affordability, although affordability in WA remains attractive by comparison to other parts of Australia. If we now look at the rental market, that's just a different market altogether, in that the rental market appears to have reached some degree of stability and a natural healthy point between supply and demand. In fact, rental, rental prices appear to have stabilised across most market sectors. Um, demand from tenants appears to be looking for the quality properties, a preference of houses over apartments, and interesting, a desire for a longer term leases where people are looking for longer term security in the house that they choose for themselves. If we move now away from the Perth property market and the WA property market, look at the general background that's affecting all of this, we turn to the Perth and WA economy. I think as we're all aware, the WM economy is in a very strong position uh, by comparison to other parts of Australia. Uh, furthermore, this is reinforced by the uh, social conditions we have here and a confidence rising in terms of vaccination rates and other positive aspects. All of this is leading to a positive uh, yet cautious sentiment in the marketplace and this is bleeding into the, into the property market as well. In addition to this, we have good economic conditions in terms of agriculture, mining and the service industry. We have strong economic management by the state government and the expectation of higher expenditure in the public sector. Um, furthermore, employment conditions in WA are rock solid and therefore the degree of security in terms of making investment or purchasing condition remains positive. So in summary, uh, all of these things are really in a very favourable condition relative to the market. And the tension between supply and demand is the underlying theme here. One other aspect, however, that is creeping into the dialogue is this question of inflationary, whether or not with increasing expenditure and economic activity, whether inflation will start to rise. And this is something to give consideration to, into, particularly if you're making an investment decision at this time. So what does all this mean in terms of the economic conditions, the property market for sellers, the property market for buyers, and even the rental market for investors and tenants? So let's look at those three sectors in, in, in particular, uh, buyer, investor, and seller. So what we can share with you is if you're a buyer, these challenging conditions are going to continue well into 2022. Our advice to you as a buyer is to be uh, well prepared before entering to the market. Make sure that you have clarity on what your buying capacity is, what your expectations are, and when you choose to act, act with clarity and confidence and put your best offer forward. Furthermore, if you're an investor, you need to act now. Here is an opportunity where prices continue to rise, there is strong tenant demand, good rental situations and long-term security, and therefore the flight to good assets is going to continue and it may be well in your interest to either retain your existing property or consolidate your investment, or if you have the ability to, enter into the property market as an investor at this time, and as I said, get ahead of the curve. If you're a seller, these are ideal times. The market is certainly in your favour. However, if you're going to be a seller in today's market, you need to have consideration towards the buyer stresses, and therefore you might have to have some flexibility around settlement dates, subject to sales, and other things relative to accommodate buyers in the current market conditions. If you're looking to realise a property at the moment as a seller, these conditions are ideal. However, it's important that you do not rush that selling process. It's important now to be a smart seller in today's market and maximise these conditions to maximise your price return and the conditions relative to your sale. In this regard, a cautious approach of marketing your property well, presenting it well, and making sure there's a structured selling method to ensure that you don't just get a sale, but you get a premium sale is to, certainly to your advantage at this time. 
So whether you're an investor, a buyer or a seller in today's market, my strong advice is to ask a real market agent in terms of the market conditions and the best way going forward. I can assure you it will be your best move in today's market.